Hi, this is Michael VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Another YouTube video for you. And uh, today we're looking at my Raspberry Pi. And uh, some of you may know what a Raspberry Pi is. It's a small uh, computer, basically. Um, it is very small, about the size of a deck of cards, and uh, all full of I.O. ports, uh, micro USB for power, Ethernet, USB. It's got a HDMI output on it. This is uh, a Model B. Uh, it's got uh, 256 megabytes of RAM. I'm using an SD card for storage. And it's also got a composite video out, audio out, and also a, a GPIO socket for interfacing. And uh, I'm using this with the Jonathan Naylor G4KLX D-Star gateway software. And uh, for the radio side, I'm using a DVAP dongle and the DV, uh, DVAP node program. And uh, what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll start it up. It's switched off at the moment. And uh, we'll just turn the power on and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, we've got some LEDs. The red LED is the power. The green one you see flashing is like an activity or a hardware uh, activity LED. The three that have lit up on the right-hand side are for the Ethernet. And you can also see we've got USB power. The uh, DVAP dongle is showing that it's got power. And this is now booting um, a version of Linux and hopefully auto starting the uh, D Star Gateway software as well. And we might see that the LED on the DVAP will uh, indicate the comms uh, with the software. There we go. And possibly we might even see it key up if we're really lucky after it. Um, starts up. I've got a funny feeling if the uh, if the program that runs the DVAP starts up before the gateway then it doesn't key up and vice versa uh, and, and it will but uh, nothing there but we can see that it's um, is active now uh, at the moment the Papa system Thursday night roundtable is on so I'll see if I can connect this up I've got a uh, IC91 on a simplex VHF frequency and I'll try and the issue of a link command to link to reflector 12 Charlie. So we'll just do that now. And hopefully. Link 2 R E S 0 1 2 Charlie. Okay, that sounds good. And hopefully. W 6 O N T who attended uh, D Star apparently uh, interrogated a number of people at. So we can see the, uh, the DVAP is transmitting, uh, and we can see there. network activity. Uh, NW6ONT, are you with us tonight? So we're just hearing the, uh, the round table coming in via a very, very small hotspot. You know, Ed, who's um, uh, the administrator, I guess, of sorts of one of our D-Star and analog machines, uh, D4, P4, up on... Uh, Okay, so um, I'll leave that going in the background. Um, connectivity is via Ethernet in this case, and some have been using a, uh, a USB Wi-Fi dongle, and um, that also works if you've got a, a Wi-Fi network connection. I'm also going to be experimenting with using a small external router, um, a Microtik slash router board uh, router, and uh, with a 3G USB dongle in that and my overall plan is to put all of this into a transportable case possibly with a gel battery pack that I can use for power um, so I can have a transportable D-Star hotspot but I can pick up and take with me wherever I want to go as long as I've got 3G coverage I can uh, switch it on and access the D-Star system um, I'm absolutely amazed at what this little board can do um, the tasks that I'm uh, asking it to do now, the, the gateway and the DVAP software, is barely scratching the surface of the CPU's uh, capabilities. There's a lot of things on there that could probably turn off. I've, I've never ever used this with a monitor. I've done all the configuration remotely via a, uh, a PuTTY SSH session. And um, it just works. It auto starts when you switch it on and uh, it survives um, the plug being pulled quite nicely. I'm very, very pleased with uh, with this device. Um, 
I do also have the an Odroid X, which is a larger board. I should have had that here with me to show you, but um, haven't had much luck with that running the Jonathan Naylor software. And I must say that um, the DL5DI Hans's uh, repository for the uh, the Jonathan Naylor software is absolutely excellent. The, the instructions to download and configure the software is spot on, and it just works perfectly every time. So uh, here we go. We can still hear the. Uh, Anybody would want to see that equipment. And, and, uh, it's working great. Okay, this is Michael, VK5ZEA. For a ball in the South Australia, 7 threes for now. And we'll talk to you again soon.